Today, I'm going to be showing you how to get into this jailbreak script UI with so many features like ESPs, aimbots, silent aims, flies, and way more. Enjoy. Alright guys, so once you're in the script link, last link in the description, you should see this page and of course you're going to want to copy the script and then join the script creators discord which you guys can see right here. Then you guys are going to want to load into your game which of course is going to be jailbreak and take care of your executor and as you can see right there, I'm going to be using Synapse. Synapse does cost $20 but you guys can get a chance to get one key for free and all you need to do is leave a like. Make sure to be subscribed down below and comment something nice and try to be as early as you can. And I will be giving away a key to eight people plus one of my members that joined the channel down below. But anyways, let's choose prisoner. Let's attach our executor and then paste the script that you guys got from the script link in the description and then execute it. And after you guys have executed the script, you should see a little menu in the middle of your screen and you're going to want to join the discord that was shown like key discord and you're going to want to go to one of the channels where it's going to have a key and then you guys put in the key and then it will load up this GUI. So we have teleports. You guys know what teleports are. You got a local player, which is stuff like walking faster, like walk speed, flight, uh, no clip, you know, no fall damage, stuff like that. You got combat stuff like wall bang, aimbot, infinite ammo, pretty cool stuff. Vehicle stuff like where you can make your engine faster, your brakes better, your height, your car height, you know, you can drive on land faster, you can make your tires not poppable, super cool stuff. You also got ESP, which is like ESP, you see other people. Uh, you got statuses, which tells you what type of stores are open. Miscellaneous, which is like random other stuff like nukes, you know, you can toggle the bridge. Uh, you can erupt volcanoes, you can spawn lightning. You got your settings, your configs, which you can save all your settings for the next time you're exploiting, and your credits. So let's start off here with the credits, you know. You got all your people right here. Remember guys, join their Discord right here and you will get the key for this UI. And you can also check out any updates this UI has in the future. So that's pretty cool, check them all out. And let's start off with the teleports. So first off, we can teleport to literally anyone here. So we have Joe in our game. Okay, you know, I've I've been running into a lot of short names recently. Anyways, let's teleport to Joe and see where he is. Uh, so it's trying to bypass right now. Don't worry, guys. It's going to teleport into a car. This is what prevents you from getting kicked. So don't worry if it like teleports to you a car and you're like, why am I in a car? It's because they're trying to bypass the anti-kick. Uh, I suppose Joe is here somewhere. Where's Joe? I, I, okay, let, let's teleport to him again. I don't know where he went. No, he's in here. Hey, Joe, hold on. Okay, hey, Joe, relax. All right, so apparently Joe is here. I teleported in him twice, even though I think he has like a nickname or something. Anyways, we also have store teleports. Like we can teleport outside the bank. Uh, we can teleport inside the bank. We can teleport in or out of the museum, in or out, uh, what? In or out of the power plant. Uh, and you can literally teleport anywhere you want. Here's outside the bank. Let's go inside the bank, okay? Why not, okay? Let's go to the bank, and here we are. This is not quite inside. Uh, let's try that again. Uh, but anyways, it works most of the times. It seems like right now it's not working. I should probably need a key card, but you know, you guys can go anywhere else. Like, let's go to the donut store. That'll work. Uh, come on, let's go. All right, I think we're almost here and here we are. All right, so here we are at the donor store. We can teleport anywhere we want. Uh, let's move on to the other locations. Like we can go to the jail, you know, here we are teleporting back again. We can also go to like the dealerships for the cars. You can go to garages, basketball courts, the cargo port, the airport, the gun shop, the train station, anywhere you guys want, you can teleport. Uh, and lastly, vehicles. So you can actually teleport to any of the vehicles that you can buy in this game. So if you wanna go buy a SWAT van, you can teleport to the SWAT van. So let's go right now. Oh my gosh, okay. Uh, we're kinda stuck, but we are at the SWAT van. So you can literally teleport anywhere you guys want and buy any car you want from this teleport GUI. But let's move on to the next section, which of course is the local player. So we got instant circle E, 
We click E once and it finishes. Really helpful in lots of situations. So I definitely recommend you guys turn this on when you're playing. You also have anti ragdoll, which makes it so if you fall from somewhere high, you're not gonna fall on the ground and like splatter and sit there for a second, all right? So this is pretty cool. I'll show you that guys in a sec. You also have anti skydive animation. I recommend using that if you're gonna be auto farming or like teleporting or stuff like that. You also have anti fall damage. Let me show you that guys. There you go, no fall damage, okay? I'm gonna show you the rest of the features. Let me just get through this first. We also have anti fall through map. Pretty helpful when you feel like, you know, no clipping or something like that. You also have no museum damage. Super helpful when you're robbing the museum. I hate when I die in the museum. I don't usually die, but you know, mistakes happen, okay guys? Sometimes you'll just like walk onto the circles, set off the alarms and like instantly die and you'll be like, what happened? Well, now that won't happen, all right? So you can turn off museum damage. You also have anti-grade tomb damage, okay? Anti-grade tomb darts, you know, lots of traps in this tomb. You also have the military, what? <laughs> the military turrets, you can turn those off. You can also switch teams like really fast. You can remove any of the cooldowns, super sick. And you also got remove bank lasers, remove jewelry lasers, and remove power plant lasers. All the helpful stuff you guys need when you're robbing stores. All right, let's move on to the walk speeds, okay? Let's go over here so I can show you guys better. This is the default walk speed, but the higher we turn it up, the faster we run. So this is actually really overpowered, guys. You can walk super fast, go anywhere you want way faster, and most importantly, you can outrun anyone. Or if you're playing like a cop, you know, I. That's fine, you don't have to play as a prisoner. If you're playing like a cop, you can catch any prisoner you want like this, all right? Anyways, let's move on to the jump power, which you guys saw a second ago, but this is the normal jump power. But if we turn it up, this is pretty, this is pretty, you know, pretty high. But if we max it out, look how high we jump. And normally, if we jump, if we fell from this height, we would probably die and splatter on the ground. But with our anti-ragdoll and no fall damage, we're just fine. So. That's pretty cool. And I'm gonna leave it a little high, cause why not? <laughs> we also have our gravity. You guys know what gravity is. We have it here on Earth too. Unless you're not on Earth, uh, I don't know where you'd be. But anyways, we can turn on our gravity to zero. And now we have zero gravity. And we're gonna float infinitely. So let me turn my gravity back up. Cause I kinda, kinda I wanna touch the ground, you know? Gotta touch that grass. I don't do it nearly enough. Uh, anyways, you guys can turn down your gravity to like halfway and then you'll have like half anti-gravity. You guys get the idea, okay? It's, it's anti-gravity. Uh, you also have your FOV, you know? All your arsenal sweats, I'm sure you guys know what FOV is. Uh, it just makes your field of view larger. On default, you know, it's fine. But if you guys are trying to see a little more, you can do that. I'm gonna leave it on default for your guys' viewing sake. Uh, in case you guys aren't like used to it or anything. But anyways, we also have flight, which we can turn on right here, and our speed, our flight speed. So 100, honestly, I don't think you need to turn it down, but if you guys wanna fly slower, you can turn on your speed right here. Oops, I turned on no clip, let's not do that yet. Oh my gosh, okay, why is this guy carrying a, okay, you know what, why not? Uh, let's go back down right here, and let me show you the no clip, all right? So no clip, oh, I forgot I have high jumps. Okay, no clip, it lets you walk through solid objects like this wall. You guys can come and test this out right now. Go to the wall in jailbreak and try to walk through it because you can't, okay? And you also got this door. You can walk straight to door, straight to wall, straight, oh, no, oh my gosh, okay. I just jumped right through the police station. You can walk through anything, guys. Uh, even the floor, if you're at the right angle, which is why you gotta turn on, no falling into the into the floor, we, uh, like down here, so that. And lastly, we got infinite jump, so let me turn back down my jump power. And this is a normal jump, I can spam it, nothing happens. But if we turn on infinite jump, if I spam it or hold it, I keep going up. All right guys, uh, I died and respawned here. So let's continue here. So we got some combat options. So good thing we spawned here because now we got the guns, okay? So first off, we have wall bang, which pretty much lets you shoot through the wall and kill people on the other side of the wall. So 
if you guys are like at their jewelry store and you have your ESP on and you see there's somebody on the other side of the door, bam, 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 and they're dead. And they're like, how'd you die? Or how'd I die, you know? So pretty overpowered. I will show you that later. You also have fully automatic. You guys can probably guess what that is, but let me show you. There you go, it's automatic. I just hold down and it shoots. So pretty cool. Uh, we also have a rapid fire, which this is like, you, uh, fully automatic but crazy uh well we also have to turn on fully automatic but here we go look at that look how fast we emptied this clip like guys imagine this with like an like a shotgun like it's gonna be so overpowered i mean i have a shotgun here but i haven't bought it so i can't use it but you guys get the idea we also have infinite ammo which i definitely recommend if you're using this rapid fire stuff and look at this <laughs> you can draw on the wall with bullets because you're shooting so fast and look at this guys like you can literally It's so overpowered. But anyways, let's move on to no recoil. You guys know what no recoil is Bam look at those perfect bullets in this one tiny hole in the middle of your screen So now like you don't even have to use all the other overpowered features You can only use no recoil and your aim will be so much better because you'll have no recoil with this stupid jailbreak recoil. Uh, we also have no bullet spread, which is kind of like recoil. It kind of goes along with it. I recommend using both, but you really don't have to. We also have shoot while driving, which will let us shoot while we're driving. We also got shoot while jetpacking, shoot while crawling. All right, I can show you this, shoot while crawling. I can do this. All right, guys, come on. Let's crawl, guys. Hello? How do I crawl? Oh, it's C. Okay. And there you go. <laughs> it looks, this looks kind of, it looks like I'm like, I'm like really short or like a toddler. Uh, but anyways, you guys get the idea. I'm like crawling, but I'm still somehow shooting. And this works the same way with the cars, the jetpacks, and with the ragdolls. Anyways, we also have silent aim, which is the aimbot section. All right, guys. So first on, you can turn it on. You can turn on ignore teammates, which I definitely recommend because you don't want to shoot your own teammates. Unless you're like a criminal or something, I don't know. You guys choose. You also have visibility check, which will check, the aimbot will check if you can see them before trying to like shoot them to the wall. But if you have wall bang, that's not a problem. But if you don't have it on, then probably you wanna turn that on. You also have your aim part, which which is where you wanna aimbot. So if you wanna do headshots only, like torsos only, uh, bottom torsos or just the middle of their chest, you guys can choose. You also got auto shoot, which will automatically shoot when the, like your aimbot sees somebody. You also got, if you wanna turn on the auto shoot, uh, ignore teammates, probably turn that on. I, it's really, it depends guys, you know. If you are a criminal, probably you wanna turn that on, uh, unless you're like playing with friends. I, it, it really depends guys. You also got your FOV for your aimbot, so, uh, you guys, I recommend turning it on so you can see your FOV and turning on rainbow mode. You gotta turn RGB on everything, right? Uh, but anyways, here we are with the aimbot FOV. So everything inside the circle will be aimbotted and everything outside of it will not be aimbotted. So just make sure your enemies are inside the circle and you're gonna aimbot them. We also have anti-tase. I definitely recommend turning this on. You got tase aura if you're a cop. Once again, for you guys have plays at cops, you can use some features. It's not only for prisoners. You also got arrest aura, which will arrest anyone near you. You got kill aura, which is probably more for the criminals, uh, but you can kill everyone near you. Like it's so overpowered, but like it says, you do have to own the plasma pistol, which I do not. So I can't use that. We also have remove punch cooldown, which we can, we, we got that speed punch, okay? So we can punch really fast and do lots of damage. And we also have spam punch. Look at my arms. Like, <laughs> this is how fast we're punching. Like, my arms aren't even moving. I'm like the flash, all right, guys? Uh, but that's all for the combat. Let's move on to the vehicles. Sadly, I cannot afford this. I, I don't have enough. Uh, I have $250. I need, I need 100000 So, sadly, I cannot use the Adventador, but... Uh, maybe I can find a normie car somewhere. All right, let's teleport to the jail so we can get a car from there. Jail out. And we're going to teleport to the jail. All right, a real life use of this UI, okay? Of the teleport feature in this UI, should I say. Anyways, here we are. 
we already got in a car, but anyways, uh, so here we are. Let me get in a new car because I want to, okay, why not? And here we are, here we are in the car, and we can turn up our engine speed, so that will make us go way faster. Obviously, this is not your stock, like, straight out of prison car speed. It's way faster, and yeah. You also gotta change your handling or else you will not be able to turn at all with this. Uh, let me turn this down a little. We don't need it that fast. We got fly, you know. Uh, you also got your brake power, which will let you brake really fast. Let me show you. Okay. I'm too used to playing GTA. Uh, it's not space to brake. It's shift, isn't it? Or is it S? I'm not sure, guys. Uh, let's go again, and let's click S. We stop almost instantly, so you probably need that if you have a higher speed. You also got your turn power, which will help you help you turn faster. This is probably a little too much. Let's turn it down to like two, and I think that's way better than the one. It's way too little. We also got our suspension height, so we can turn our suspension way up and like drive over everyone or like drive over buildings. Now, this is not high enough to do anything, either drive through buildings or anything. So let's turn this up to somewhere like 100, and you guys see, look how tall our car is. We're literally driving on buildings, like, what is this? Uh, okay, now we're flipped, okay, we're good. We can like drive through the like the, the lake. We have no problem because our suspension is like hundreds of feet up in the air, so why not? We also have our bounce, which it chooses how high we bounce and stuff like that. Uh, we also got some heli modifications, so we changed the engine speed of the helicopter, the rope length, pretty cool feature. You can also change if you wanna instantly pick up the rope, infinite heli height. I really like this because you can go infinitely up into the air and just fly there. Uh, I can show you guys real quick. Let's go right here. That's the paid one. We're not gonna do that one. Let's do this one. And look at that, guys. I didn't even have to hijack it. It was in instant, all right? But let me show you the speed real quick. So engine speed 100, and oh my gosh, look how fast we're going. I mean, this is like the best transport. This is better than like teleporting, you know? But anyways, pretty cool. Uh, let me show you the rope length. This is the default rope length, but we can, oh my gosh. Oh, it goes like, it touches the ground. Okay, that's really tall. Anyways, we also have some boat mods, we got some plane mods, and we got some others. So first off, we got unlock the radio game pass, which now you got the radio game pass for free. So no more paying for those like pesky, like, you know, radios, you know, you can get it for free. It's a super cool. You also got vehicle and no clip, which I'm sure you guys can understand what this means, but look, okay. Bam, we hit the wall. I mean, what would you expect, right? But if we turn on vehicle no clip, watch this. Okay, that's not what's supposed to happen. We're supposed to go through the, uh, you know, through the building, but it might not work. Oh wait, it's working? Okay, I don't think it works with a helicopter. Uh, so probably use a car, okay? But anyways, we also got rainbow vehicle, super sick. I love these like rainbow gun and rainbow like vehicle features. You know, you can fly around with this and everyone will be like, that's cool. And I agree. So it's pretty cool. You also, oh my, what the, what is going on? Am I getting like, okay, I don't know what that was. Anyways, we also have rainbow nitro, infinite nitro, infinite jetpack and premium jetpack fuel. Jetpack? Nope, jetpack, okay. Uh, we also have anti-car flip, anti-tire pop. Really handy features if you're like running for the cops or something, you know, you can turn these on. You also got loop pop for other tires. Now you can be pretty annoying to the rest of the server and literally pop other people's tires with this. So you can do that if you really want, it's your choice. You also got shoot down other helis. So you're like gonna like automatically shoot down all the other helicopters. You also have drive on water. You got a music horn. Uh, you also got auto lock vehicle, pretty handy, you know. It automatically locks your car the moment you get out. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's, I don't, I don't know what was quite going on there. Oh, I forgot my suspension was so weird. Okay, uh, like I said, right here, you see it's unlocked the moment I get out. And let me get back in. Oh my gosh, my car flipped over. All right, okay, can we, can we flip back, please? Can, can we, can we do that? I don't think we can. 
Okay, we broke the car. <laughs> All right, let's move on. We also got autopilot for the cars. You guys have seen this in plenty other videos. And if you want to see it, just check out one of the other jailbreak videos, the recent ones, and it'll be in there. And yeah, that's all. Hijack all vehicles will just make it so you're not going to have to hold it to hijack anything. You just automatically do it here. But anyways, let's move on to the ESP. So first off, we got to enable it. And then we choose show name, show distance, show health, show boxes, uh, show directions, show skeletons, show enemies only or not and tracers lastly but not least and now you have all this information about people which honestly i don't really like i don't need to see all this stuff so usually what i do is only turn on boxes and not even names not even distance just health and their boxes and you know tracers is really your guys' choice but these are the really two most important features because you see the health right here you see it's green bar and you see where they are Pretty cool. I recommend testing it out and using it. Uh, but anyways, we also have airdrop ESP. So we can see where the airdrop is. Right there, there's one. Right there, there's another one. Right there, there's another one. Mm, only three. Okay, that's not that many. But anyways, we see where the airdrops are. You can see how many studs away they are. You can also turn on tracers if you want and where the tracers originate from. You can make your tracers come from the bottom, from the middle, from the top, it's your choice, but I'm not gonna use tracers. And lastly, you have a few text options, so you can change the color of your text. So we can do like blue, okay? Uh, yeah, we, we'll, we don't see it at all now. Let's do red, I think we see red a little better. And we can also use like a team color or we can turn on even rainbow. I think this is pretty cool. I, I mean, you can see it way better now. And you can also change like your box thickness, your text thickness, like the directions. And you can also use minimap reveal players, which will show everyone on your minimap. So pretty cool. Uh, we also have statuses, which tells us what stores are open or not. Miscellaneous, which is a bunch of just crazy fun stuff like remove doors, spawn ramp, which will spawn a bunch of ramps, you know, pretty cool. Why not? You can test that out. You also have like open and close the drawbridge, turn, give yourself like a police outfit, remove it. You can also nuke a bunch of stuff. Uh, I've showed this in plenty other videos. Same with the like volcano eruption and same with the click lightning. Super cool. I really like this feature, super fun because you can spawn lightning, of course. You know, why wouldn't that be cool? You also got like party mode, uh, which you just start dancing, you know, why not? You got flickering street lights, pretty creepy, but could be cool, I know. Uh, you also got uh, turbine speed, your party modes. You can make yourself dance really fast. That's that's pretty fast, okay? Uh, and also fireworks, so you can spawn some fireworks. Let's spawn a bunch, why not? It was the 4th of July recently, so we can spawn fireworks. And lastly, give cash, so we can do BAM! Look at that! lots of cash but it is fake so you can just show your friends just for fun and lastly we have the settings so we can turn on anti-afk which will make it so we can't get kicked for being afk we also have show fps and ping which is on the top right like right next to my face cam you guys maybe see it i'm turning it on and off but anyways there it is and you can also set an fps cap or turn it off to whatever you like so that's all. Let's move on to our configs. So this is where you can open and close the GUI. And you can also save a config. So config number one. All right. And we can save the config. And then next time we get on prison life or this is not prison life. This is jailbreak. But next time we get on jailbreak, we click on load config and it will load your config. See, it's turning on all the settings that we've turned on before and they're turning on the, you know, the height of the cars, the colors, the ESP, the aimbots, and now you're back and you're ready. Who is this? Oh, it's just a, it's just a, it's just a criminal. But anyways, that's all for today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy, it. and if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe down below. Remember, we are trying to hit 80k subscribers, and once we hit that, we will be doing a Synapse giveaway for eight Synapse keys, and I will be doing one extra set of keys for just my members and speaking of my members thank you guys for becoming members right here your support is appreciated and hopefully i'll catch you all in the next video see you guys